Hello and welcome to GPCA TV. I'm John Baker from ISIS and I'm here at the annual GPCA forum in Dubai. I'm talking to Mutlak Al Murashed, the CEO of TASNI. You've been CEO of TASNI now most of this year. How would you characterize the market since you've taken over and uh, what are the conditions in the industry? The market has not has been difficult. Uh, the chemical market in the beginning of the year was not so bad. Uh, it was not as good as the last year. Uh, for us, Tasnia, we get hit mostly from the titanium dioxide side, which is not a chemical, it's a pigment for mm -hmm. the paint. Yeah. That was the biggest. The chemical still uh, made money, like everybody else, but it's not as good as it last year. Mm -hmm. And have you made any adjustments in your strategy or your plans? As a, as yes, a we have. We mm -hmm. have restructured the company, we're cutting costs. Uh, cut on certain, uh, you know, unprofitable businesses, reducing number of staff, reducing offices, mm -hmm. any normal restructuring uh, a company uh, normally does, mm -hmm. mainly driven by the TIO2 side, the titanium dioxide side, not right. necessarily the chemical side. Mm -hmm. But we have then changed the chemical side to make it better. Right. But you're also investing, I understand. You've got a new plant coming up for butanol? We are investing. Uh, two or three things. We have a butanol plant coming in Jubail to improve our uh, acrylic chain business because it's really the main feed stock. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, a conversion industry, plastic, big big uh, project in Hyde in north of Saudi Arabia. That's also coming online 2016. And then we have uh, under commissioning a startup as we speak is a titanium slagger in Gizan west of Saudi Arabia, that's mainly to improve the economics of the TIO2 business. Mm -hmm. Yes, besides petrochemicals, you've got a, quite a large downstream area as well. Could we, you explain why, how that's important and why you're doing it? We, uh, we really restructured as of big, towards the second half of this year, where we changed the model from a, a holding kind company model to an operating model with three SBUs, petrochemical SBU, titanium SBU, and downstream SBU. The downstream SBU is really mainly uh, car batteries, which is acid lead car batteries, which mm -hmm. we make a large number of them, over a million right. units. Then we have a lead smelter that's providing the lead to the car batteries, and through recycled lead from the old batteries, basically. Then we have a large reward company, which we own 100%, that is a large plastic converter, making pipes and sheets and chocolate wrap, milk bottles, and so on. And uh, then we have um, a foundry and uh, steel plant, not steel production, but uh, a plant to make axle for 18 wheeler trucks. And then we have also make PC strand for bridges and things. It's mm -hmm. all done between Dammam and Jubail. So mm -hmm. it's a very significant downstream operation. Mm. Can you explain why that's why you've done that? Why that's important? Well, <laughs> actually, Tosnia started that way. Right. Originally, Tosnia started in the downstream, mm -hmm. and then over the re, uh, over the years, it went upstream. So we went from that actually we went to the petrochemical production the upstream, mm -hmm. because in the right. past we were just converters. Then we got into the TIO2 business through our subsidiary Crystal, mm -hmm. which we own uh, about 80 percent of. Right. And the other 20% owned by GIC, which is a Gulf Investment Corporation, Kuwait, which is owned by the GCC uh, government. Right. So that's how we got. That's actually where we were. Mm -hmm. Now we have moved significantly up, and that part of the business became quite small. Right. Okay. And finally, very, very briefly, how do you see things developing sort of in the market now for the next year or two? I think 2016, from what we have seen, is not going to be an easy year. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to speak on two things, chemical and titanium dioxide. I think titanium dioxide is going to be difficult because of a lot of dumping coming from China. It's an industry that was more or less an oligopoly. Uh, Chinese broke into the technology by mm -hmm. taking from everybody somehow. Mm -hmm. Me Too product, back into the market, drag the price down. So that's going to happen, uh, but the Chinese, like everyone else, they have to make money at the end of the day. And today, in the TIO2 business, no one is making money. So I think we, we expect 2016 to be tough. We, we don't expect it to be such, you know, back to what, what the years before. Uh, beyond that, then things could improve because of supply and demand and inventories are high in that industry, which mm -hmm. is the TIO2 industry. Right. If we go to the chemical, uh, the chemical is a cyclical industry also. It's 
TiO2 is a cyclical, but also chemical is cyclical. We have seen these things. We have seen mm -hmm. them in the 2000s and the 90s, and you know, it goes up and down, and when the good time comes, you make a lot of money. When the bad time comes, you know, you make some or maybe lose a little, but right. you know, so I think this next year is gonna be one of these difficult years, but the industry as a whole, I think it's gonna survive like it survived before, it's just a cycle, mm -hmm. and it's a resilient industry. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, we have to be careful, control our cost, controlling the price of our raw material, our feedstock, and so on. That, that we have to be careful about, mm -hmm. because we have another player coming to the market, the US shale gas, starting 17, 18, Chinese, chemical based on coal, either through MTO mm. or through uh, new coal to olefin, yes. and so on. So that's starting also to change some of the structure of the industry, which we, the Middle Eastern, especially producer, have enjoyed over the years. Mm -hmm. But the industry, basically, the fundamental of it is good. But it's, it's going to have a rough, maybe, ride next year, a little bit, but it's, it's, it's going to sustain, it's going to continue. Okay. I'm just worried about yeah. increases in cost and things like that. That's what worries me. Well, thank you very much. That's very good. My pleasure. Thank, thank, you. thank you, sir. Okay.